All right, so let's take care of the home button down here. Just select our front glass, hide everything else. Jump into the front view here. We'll just zoom in at the bottom. And we're gonna create this other sphere. So let's go into the create panel and grab one. Just draw that out in the center here. Okay, and we wanna make sure that obviously that's centered. Uh, so let's zero out the x-axis again and try to eyeball it in position here. Okay, and for the radius, let's do a little bit smaller than we need. Let's do like maybe 26.5. Okay, we'll leave it at 32 sides and convert a terrible poly. Jump into the left view here. Go to vertex and we'll just grab all the verts on the right side of center and delete them. And then we'll just pull this over into the hole. And uh, obviously we don't want it curved in so much, so we're gonna need to scale it down. So I'm gonna go to scale and scale it just on the X axis to flatten it out. Okay, and right now our normals are facing uh, outside because we're looking at the inside of the sphere here, so we need to flip those around. Uh, we can either do it by polygon or you can do it with a normal modifier. I'll just grab the polys here and flip. All right, so everything's facing the proper direction. And let's go into border, grab the outer border here, back to the front view. I'm gonna hold down shift and scale it on the X and Y at the same time here to extrude the border out. All right, I just wanna give it a slight edge. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we'll go to the move tool and it's gonna to go to wireframe F3 and we're gonna shift drag this back on the Y to extrude the sides in. Okay, just like that. And we'll hit all Q here to go to isolation mode. And we'll just add a little bit of support to this. All right, so back and edge. Ring those front edges and connect them up with two segments. A little bit of pinch on that. One on the top and one on the inside as well. All right, get rid of this back edge again. And let's do one on uh, the inside. All right, so let's just do one segment here with a slide it. Like that. Let's add our turbo smooth, two iterations and ice line. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, let's get rid of isolation mode. And we'll probably need to scale it up slightly here. It's a little too small. All right, so we'll zoom in and we'll just scale it slightly. All right, let's check our uh, blue on that one maybe, or even gray. Okay, so that'll take care of that uh, home button there. Let's also name it. Just call it uh, button dash home. And we'll unhide everything. All right, the next thing we'll do is just clone a piece of our uh, mesh from the bottom speaker up into that top one. And hopefully it's big enough to cover it. Uh, if not, we're gonna have to remake it. But let's grab this one here. And in the left view, I'm just gonna shift drag a copy of this up. All right, so hold down shift and drag that up to the top as a copy. We'll move it out to the front and just rotate it uh, 90 degrees. Okay, we'll also delete that FFD on there for now to uh, make sure that it's straight. All right, we'll center the pivot here and move it back to the origin line on the X. And as you can see, it's too small. All right, and sorry about that. I should have gone this one uh, first before I did the bottom, but it'll only take us a, a minute or so to remodel this. So let's just park this copy over to the side here for a second uh, so that we can use it as a reference for the size. We'll control click the body here, hide down, select it. Go back to the grid panel, grab another plane, hit F3, and just draw that over top of our front speaker. And we'll do the same thing here, just make it a little bit bigger than we need. 
align it on the X. A little off on the X, so I'm just going to line it to the uh, center mark here. All right, and her hole's a little bit to the left here, as you can see. Um, I must not have had that right in the center when I uh, made those cuts, uh, but that's okay. We can fix it later if we need to. All right, so let's add some more segments here. Uh, we'll do maybe uh, 15 by, say, 60. Okay, and for segments, we'll just crank it out. Let's do let's do maybe about twelve again on the height, and we'll do about fifty on the width say or yeah width sags. Okay, collapse that to double poly. Back to edge, grab the edges, connect them. One segment, control I, control backspace, apply the lattice modifier, struts only, 0.15 on the thickness, and enable smooth. Okay, we'll just check this out here. All right, we can get rid of this copy that we had from uh, the bottom. We don't need that. And we'll just push this in right behind the vent here. Okay, and same thing here, we'll just want to push it back a little bit uh, so it's behind there. Okay, I'm just going to change that color to black and throw our gray shader on there. Okay, I think that should work fine for the speaker mesh. And like I mentioned, uh, we're a little off on, on the whole centering. So let's just check this out. Unhide all for a second. And let's just select the front glass there. Um, do control I, hide unselect it. Sorry, it's one of those days. Okay, it actually looks like our blueprints are slightly off. Okay, so we're a little off the side there, but I don't think it's enough to really be noticeable. Uh, we could just move the hole over by moving the ver uh, vertices, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. And if it's noticeable later on, we'll just kind of tweak everything over to the left a little bit. All right, but we'll worry about that later once we have the rest of the stuff done, and we'll do that as a final adjustment. Okay, so I'm going to hide all again, and pretty much done with the front here besides that little camera lens that we have in there. All right, so let's grab the glass, hide it, and we just need to make something really simple to fit into this hole here. Also hide this. And let's actually push that back even further. We'll tuck it in here so we have a little more detail. It should actually be right behind this piece. Okay, so that looks a little better. Okay, so let's just grab the front here and we'll get rid of everything else. And we'll just create a simple uh, little lens in here for the camera. Right, let's take a look at our reference. Uh, I can't really see anything from that angle. Uh, it's pretty much just a little bit of a, a cylinder shape with kind of a almost a spherical lens on there or glass on there. And I don't know if we have another front picture of it. Okay, we'll see if we can see it on this one. And uh, I should have probably changed that wallpaper out. Alright, so we got a little bit of a sphere in there. Okay, so we're just going to do something pretty simple here. We don't need to do it overly complex. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is just maybe grab a tube here. We'll just create kind of a little outer border 
uh, for the, the lens to sit in. Right, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than we need. And we'll do maybe something like that, a little bit of thickness. And we'll just line it up here as best we can. All right, I'm also going to crank up the sides a little bit more. Uh, we'll do maybe like 24. Uh, we don't need any height settings, so we'll just take that down to 1. And just kind of center it right in the hole here. And we'll also move it forward. And we'll just position it uh, right at the back there. Alright, we'll take the uh, original radius up a little bit more just so it's tucked in behind. And maybe a little bit more on the thickness here. Right, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so something like that's good. We'll do about 4.2 on radius 1, 3.3 .3 on radius 2, and about 1.6 on the height with 24 sides. All right, let's convert this to double poly. And we don't really need to have back polygons on this, so let's spin around here, and let's actually go back to perspective view. We don't want to be orthographic. Whoops. Uh, we'll just delete out these back polygons by bringing uh, those edges and control clicking polygon delete those out. Uh, we could probably even actually delete out the sides, we don't need those as well. Alright, we'll just keep the front polygons as well as the inside polygons here. And let's see if we can maybe add a little bit of extra detail here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the real one looks like. It's pretty tiny and it's hard to tell, so we'll just kind of wing this. I'm just going to ring these edges and connect them up. And let's maybe just do one segment there in the center and we'll chamfer that maybe. Uh, pretty small. And let's also ring the inner edge. Control click polygon. And I'm just going to extrude this maybe uh, out a little bit or even in maybe. All right, let's give it kind of like a seam there so it doesn't look so plain. Okay, and we'll just quickly, you know, support these. It's going to grab the three inside edges. Ring them and connect them. And I think we'll just do one segment uh, in the center. Okay, and then we'll uh, come over here. Maybe chamfer down this outside edge. Oops, loop and chamfer. And let's do, give it two segments and just maybe roll it just over a little bit. Maybe something like that. And we'll see how that looks with the turbo smooth applied. Okay, so really, really simple. Um, now let's just make some kind of a spherical glass here in the center. So let's go back to our front view. We'll zoom in on this and let's grab another sphere, draw that out in the center. Once again, a little bit bigger than we need. And we're just going to align that to the uh, uh, cylinder here so we know it's in the center. And we'll probably squash it down a little bit here. We don't want it to be that round. All right, so we're going to move that forward. And we'll just kind of tuck it into the lens here. Okay, we'll also squash it. Let's convert it to double poly and delete off those backwards. Right, and we'll just maybe uh, flatten it out a little bit more and push it a little bit more forward. Right, I'm just going to change the color of both these and we'll see if that's uh, enough detail uh, to sell this. Okay, it could probably come forward a little bit. We don't want it too deep. All right, so it's going to be both those pieces up. All right, I think that's fine for that. All right, so we'll call this um, maybe front camera uh, frame. Let's copy the first part of that name and paste it onto the cylinder. 
and we'll call it lens. Okay, so I'll take care of the front. Just uh, unhide all here and make sure that everything's okay. Okay, I think we're good to go here. 